I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I'm 25 News First Alert Meteorologist Deb Mishuli. The pleasant weather is going to continue Sunday. We'll start off with temperatures in the upper 20s and the low 30s, and our highs will climb into the upper 40s and the low 50s. We'll see mostly sunny skies. Do expect some filtered sunshine at times, especially along and south of 74, but overall a really pleasant day to get outside and enjoy. Now comes Sunday evening, we're going to see increasing clouds ahead of our next storm system. This is going to likely bring some scattered showers closer to midnight, but it really is going to ramp up in the overnight hours Monday into Monday morning. We can see those darker colors on future radar indicating heavy rain, along with the chance for some isolated rumbles of thunder throughout the overnight hours. Strong winds will also accompany the system and it will stay there by the time you're heading out the door Monday likely for work. We'll begin to see the rain and the heaviest of rain taper off by mid morning. Could see a secondary wave of just some scattered showers behind the main uh, portion of the system, but will likely dry out by lunchtime and the rest of your Monday will feature dry time along with mostly cloudy conditions. We do have the chance for an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm between Monday at 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. That just seems like where the best energy supply seems to be present and it's going to be for our southwestern counties. Main threats are going to be damaging winds and large hail and we're going to watch over the next 24 hours to see if that darker green is expanded. But again, thunderstorms are still going to be present for our entire viewing area that can be gusty at times. Now speaking of gusty, Winds are going to be very strong with the system, ranging between 30 to 40 miles per hour in the overnight hours, staying even stronger by the time you're heading out for the morning commute. Again, 40 to 45, even up to 50 miles per hour is going to be possible. In the afternoon, we will see a little bit of a taper off, I should say. I mean, they're still going to be rather gusty between 25 to 30, but they're going to ramp up yet again late afternoon, Monday evening up to 30 to 35, even 40 miles per hour being present. We really won't see real relief until Tuesday morning. Looking at our temperature spread over the next seven to 10 days, again, low 50s on Sunday, upper 50s on Monday, low 50s Tuesday, near 60 on Wednesday is going to be possible. A bit cooler, we'll take a dip Thursday into Friday with highs about seasonable for this time of year in the low to mid 40s but it's looking like another warm-up as we head into next weekend. For 25 News, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Deb Mishuli. Full forecast details on 25 News.